Okay, guys, it's pretty late. Uh, I had a really busy day. An un un really busy day. We had like 20 people over here today. It was <laughs> unreal. But before I go to bed, I want to read you. I, I did not get my paper until late this evening. I was very busy. And, um, uh, op open it up. On band didn't open it up. Front page of the paper, very big letter, says, Sex crime brings prison. A 29-year-old man who sexually assaulted a 7-year-old girl could face up to 70 years in prison. Timothy Lee Ortiz was sentenced Friday to 40 to 70 years by the St. Joseph County Circuit Court Judge Paul Stutzman. Good for you, Judge Stutzman. Good for you. Ortez pleaded no contest on March 2nd to first-degree criminal sexual conduct. Uh, the prosecuting attorney, Doug McDonald, asked Stutzman to exceed the sentencing guidelines. Yay! The sentencing guidelines for the crime set the minimum prison term is 18 years and 9 months. But Stutzman decided to set the low end of the sentence to 40 years. You know what that means? That means that Mr. McDonald, over in Centerville at the St. Joe County Courthouse, he asked them to be harsher on this man. But you guys have to understand that, I mean, some people will say that he didn't need to be sentenced anymore, but, I mean, this, this guy is a monster. He's a monster. He, he hurt that baby so much. McDonald cited several variables in the sentencing guidelines, including acts of sadism. I'm not really sure what he did, but it must have been pretty bad. I have to open up the paper now and read the inside section because I opened this up and decided to start blogging right away, so I'm not really sure what is on the inside here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they went over, over, above and beyond, above and beyond. It is fantastic. Good for you, McDonald. Good for you, Stutzman. Way to go, gentlemen. I'm, I'm so proud of you. You guys are catching it. You're seeing we got to get these guys in and keep them in. Not let them out. We're going to hurt these babies again. Good job. My hat goes off to you. Oh, I'm very happy. That's, it's never happened before. I don't even know how to act. I'm so excited. He butchered a seven-year-old girl, McDonald said. McDonald also said Ortiz had already served one year in Branch County Jail for abusing the same child. He also argued that Ortiz knew what he did was wrong because he tried to have the victim cover up what he had done by telling her to place the blame upon herself. Seven years old. What a sicko. He said the kid was T, meaning, meaning um, Stutzman, the, the judge, said that the case called for an upward departure from sentencing recommendations. The case has a, depra a depravity I've never seen before, Stutzman said. How he was still in the house in a position of trust, I don't know. It makes you a dangerous person. The girl was sexually assaulted on February 2nd. She was taken to the hospital and later transferred to a larger hospital. She underwent surgeries to repair damages caused by the assault. Let me tell you what the damages are, because I remember when this happened. She had two injured vertebrae, a shattered pelvis. She, it had hurt her spleen and her liver. At seven years old, this little girl had to have a complete hysterectomy. He made it to where this little girl will never, ever be a mother. A biological mother, I shouldn't say that. But she will never be able to give birth to her own children. At seven years old, this baby girl is taking Premarin. It is what they give women when they are going through the change of life. When they are going, oh my gosh. This baby girl has to take that for the rest of her life. Just so she can develop into a normal teenager. She will never have a period. She will never have anything. That medicine for the rest of her life. I, I could not even believe that when I, when I read this. But I am so proud of those judges. You know, they finally got one. But here, here is my thing. It says right here that he'd abused that child before. Yes, he has. See, I know this case. And again, I know that man. My brother went to school with him. He was a horrible man. He was convicted two times. But because he was a minor... They let him go, even though they were both on young children, even though he was a minor. 
Now, he has, he beat this baby girl so bad two years ago, she had to be hospitalized, and that mother was ordered not to have him around that little girl or his daughter that he had with her. And guess what? He gets out of jail. What does she do? She goes back into that same home. Do you hear anywhere in that paper where that mom is being having charges pressed against her? No. She knew it could happen. There were accusations the first time, and she chose to go back into that home. I want to know why we are not seeking charges out against her. I think I might call Mr. Stutzman. I think I might call Mr. McDonald and ask them why. When there was a restraining order on behalf of that little girl, and he was no, knew he had to stay away from her, why on earth he was in the same home with her? Why on earth was he left alone with her knowing that he beat her so severely two years ago she had to be hospitalized? Nothing's happening to that mother. Here's what we need to do, folks. Let's rally together. Let's show them. You know, then what would she have said if he would have killed her? I didn't know what was happening, Your Honor. I didn't know he was hurting her. That seems to be what you hear all the time. The mother's with her. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, man, I know in some cases, that is very much so the truth. In some cases, mothers, they just don't know. In some cases, fathers don't know. They don't know until it's too late. Answer uncles that live with, they don't know. But chances are, they do. And she knew. Obviously, he did it to her two years ago. Proven that they knew. Riley Sawyer's mother knew. Ms. Marie Brown's mother knew. You know, they knew. Ray Dawn Smith. Kelsey Briggs' mother. She knew. She closed her eyes to it. That man was more important. Why is it? How are you women not realizing that nothing should come be Nothing but God should come before your children. Nothing. Nothing should come. They are your children. They are your love, your life, your everything. You carry them for nine months. You are the reason that they exist. And Ray Dawn and this woman whose name I won't mention because it's not been a matter of public record and I can't get in trouble, but I do know it. And Kimberly Trenner and Nixalis Santiago, all them women, they need to be hung out to dry. They didn't give their babies a chance. They were more worried about keeping the men in their lives. In some cases, the mothers even let the husbands rape their daughters. Just so they can keep them. Man, I couldn't imagine. You know what my mother would have done? If her and my father would have separated and some man would have came to her and said, I want to have sex with one of your children, they, my mom would probably be in prison because she would have killed him. But these mothers are not mothers. They're monsters. They don't care about anything but themselves. Their children don't matter. I don't understand it. So this is where the child abuse registry comes in effect. He said that it happened, and he would have done that to her, then that mother could be punished. She could be punished. She knew he wasn't allowed to be around that child, and she let him. So if you pass this, then she can be punished. All parents can be punished if they know. If they don't know, no, because that does happen. But if they know, this child abuse registry, you know why he's on it. He's on it especially for your child. Then, yeah, maybe we, we'll get lucky and Dominic Klein won't have to go back to his father either because that's a scary situation, folks. That's only a couple of months away. Scary situation. So keep up everything that you've done. Thank you all that came to the meeting for coming. Wasn't the best turnout, but everybody left there. I seen grown biker men drop and cry when some of these stories were read. People are realizing this epidemic. And we're saying enough is enough. Stop protecting the abusers. Start protecting the abused. Be silent no more. Thank you folks for watching. I'll be on sometime tomorrow. Sorry I was so late. Um, like I said, busy day, day 20 people. So, good luck, Rosie. I'll see you at the end of the month. Good luck and bless you and all you do. Y'all have a good evening. Good night.